going to construct an inscribed square. And so you begin that by creating the circle we're going to inscribe it into. Now, we kind of work backwards a little bit here to create our square. The first thing I'm going to do is create a diameter, which of course goes through the center. Here's my diameter. And we'll call this point A and C. Now, we have two of the four points of our square already on our circle. We need the other two that would be here and here, basically. If we created a perpendicular, we would create two more points that would form our square. So we're going to use a previous construction, and if you haven't learned it yet, go back and take a look at it, called the midpoint construction, or even the perpendicular bisector would work. The way we do that is we stretch our compass beyond the halfway and we make a mark above and below and from the other side we use the same length of um, our compass and in doing so we created a perpendicular line that is goes through the midpoint. Now we knew that the center was the midpoint, didn't we? because that was a diameter. So we knew we'd go through the center and we would form two new points. Now by doing so, this is perpendicular. And now if we connect A to B, I'll do C and D while I'm ready to go here. I'll do C and B and D and A and we get our perfect square. Um, so again, what I did is by creating the diameter, I created two of the points, and by doing the perpendicular bisector or the perpendicular line through a point, uh, I created the other two, and it creates our inscribed square. Inscribed means all vertices are on the circle, and it's uh, inscribed square.